What is up, YouTube? It is New Genesis back with another video. Today, we are going to be ranking all of Kendrick Lamar's albums. Yes. And then speaking also about the EPs. Yep. We have uh, a bona fide, um, I think that word right, bona fide Kendrick fan. Um, yeah, I yeah. love Kendrick. My favorite uh, uh, rapper is J. Cole, but I still love Kendrick's um, albums. I don't know my heart like that, but that's my guy in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna rank them. We might have two different rankings, which is fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, but y'all let us know what y'all what y'all think of the albums, which album should be higher and stuff like that, because it's gonna be speculation of a new album coming out yeah, cause next it, year, probably. Yeah, because kind of building up to, I think. A new yeah, album gotta be coming. Like that. Once you hear hard part, wherever, that's when you know the album's coming. Yeah. It's usually because yeah, a lot of people were saying. I think you were saying that um, the new album would help bring more music in to let not like us and like that, like stuff like that, to be played for the um, Super Bowl. So you don't have to yeah. play like the crazy songs. It's yeah. like cussing stuff. He like got that. enough hits for the Super Bowl. Yeah, he probably be doing like because um, the last Super Bowl he did, we did the all right. He did Man City, right? Yeah. I think, so. I think he, he might do Mad City. Yeah, Mad City, he came. Come on. DNA gonna be there. Humble, of course, as well. I, I feel like he gotta end the Super Bowl off with all the stars. Like, yeah. everybody have their phones in the air and just have like, all the stars. Like, that, that'd be cool. Like, yeah, that's cool stuff. Susan, that most of the CFCs are gonna be there. Hopefully, yeah. she's not a bug. <laughs> so we got Session 80, Mr. So, whoa, this is out of the order. Yeah. Session 80, um, then, then Mad City. Mad City. That's yeah, a dates on there. I'm stupid. So, people the Butterfly, damn. <laughs> and then Mr. Morale, the Big Steppers. Ranking knows uh, five. Yep. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need some time. You go ahead. Mm -hmm. I'll say my favorite album is Ten Butterflies. You guys know. You know it starts off perfectly. Wesley Theory, amazing song. All the funk and you hear all that stuff. Thunder Cat playing the bass. You're like, oh, this is this is something different. You hear boom. At first I did love you. Boom, 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 boom. But now I just wanna whoa. <laughs> two on to the house, you a car for the in the middle of the piano with guitar. See, the name is Sound Good Dog, but the love you can live with them all. I know you're kind. The perfect song to start off with. Then you, they switched to For Free. He was rapping like a jazz style. It was like kind of like off beat, but on beat. I like, saw so like the way he was going with it like that. Like, like it, was, it was perfect. Like that. Then yeah, after that, you get King Kunta, Institutionalized. You know, all these different songs were just very good. You know, You was a good song. All right, Mama, These Walls. All the songs, I mean, all the, all the songs are good. <laughs> Mortal Man at the end too, and then he ended off with the Tupac kind of like uh, interview at the end, perfect like that. So amazing album, amazing album. You can still listen to it 24-7. I, I still have, all, I have most of the songs from my playlist. It's just very good to listen to, especially as a musician. If you like, if you play an instrument, I love, I love playing violin or guitar and stuff like that. You just hear the sounds, but like, ah, oh, there you go. It, it inspires you. You put in the number, number, one. number one. Yes. I'm going to go a little different. I'm going to go with the, damn. Excuse me. The damn album. It has a lot of hits that I, 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 now I'm like forgetting whenever I look back at it. I'm like, oh. And I do remember when I listened to the album again from playing the game and stuff like that. I had to stop and I was like, oh yeah. You have was lost on there. Your life. I was like, this, this man got hit after hit. Element, freaking blood, DNA. Yeah. Yeah. Loyalty, pride. Loyalty, pride. Song. Yes. I like, Duck, Duck was my favorite song probably of his. I like that. The yeah. story telling that. It's like, it's a good, like, different feels of different songs. Yeah. It doesn't have as much like a blend towards it uh, as like Timber like Six Block, um, I think. Hits but, on there, I think. Yeah. Six, seven, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It said the album sold almost, a, I think like, like close to 700,000 his first week. He had like six hits on there. You're like, DNA, Humble, Loyalty, Love. You're like, God dang, like, yeah. Element. <laughs> you, can, you can find, you can find, hey, Love on it, yeah, Love. Yeah. You can find a, um, a like yeah, a feeling. Like or a what is it, a resonant you can resonate with something one of the songs yeah. on that mother kind of like doing like a little bit of his version of the i thought like his version of like the seven daily sins but almost different because of more songs of course like that and the 16 tracks right yeah, 14, 14 tracks okay 14, you're like yeah i feel like it was kind of like his thing he was talking about like pride like everything just kind of sensitive like that and it was like it was, it was very good very good album number two yeah. number two i'll have to go with damn as well i think um damn it number two it's a very good album because in high school it's that much more set I like, only that have my playlist, of course, in high school. Zaman to Kendrick, Cole, Isaiah Rashad, listen to some Temptations, Lauren Hill. You never go wrong. You never go wrong. Like that, listen to all that stuff. James Brown and stuff. You never go wrong with that. So the damn album was just, it was perfect. Per perfect, perfect album right there. From start to finish, uh, perfect on story. And then, you know, kind of like, Takes them back to like the beginning like that. And the Duckworth song was perfect. Like, take two strangers and put them in a man of predicaments, give them a soul, so they make their own choices and live with it. I would say, I know Tipper Number 5 is a, 
like we're now like if you ask somebody um if you ask a bunch of people like what's their favorite album all the time somebody gonna say to be to be the brother yeah, yeah um i am gonna say that that's gonna be a little later in my list good kid mad city will be number two good kid mad city the only one the only one i don't really remember when i'm looking at this list of like songs is uh shireen shireen yeah, kendrick yeah. Can you only bring my car back and tell Kendrick bring me some dominoes? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's fine. Dominoes. So I said dominoes. <laughs> but that's the only song I don't remember. Uh, of course, we got uh, my favorite song on this album, which is "Swimming Pool." Sweat, favorite song mm. of Kendrick's ever. Talk about alcohol, drag, sin shot, drag. Now I've been wooed by some people living their life in bottles, granted they had that golden flask. But yeah, I'm gonna put it. "Good Kid, Mad City" at number two. Good Kid, Mad City. You got a problem with it? Fuck. No. <laughs> <laughs> we counting the uh, Black Panther album because that is his album. Okay. Oh, 1680. His 1680 is pretty good. I like 1680 a lot. Yeah, my favorite, one of my favorite songs, High Power, on there. High Power. Yeah, ADHD is very good too. I love what's called on there. Um, mm. uh, Rick and Mortis. Oh, yeah, right there. <laughs> you put him up. I'm like. <laughs> He's like, oh, I killed your favorite rapper. He's dead. Yeah. I killed him. <laughs> what in the hit? Church. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, I like Good Kid Man City, but I'm going to say High Power. I mean, Six and Eighty. Right. Like, probably because of High Power. <laughs> high Power is really solid. That's a lot. Like right that. Visions of Martin Luther staring at me. Malcolm X put a hex in my future. Someone catch me. Yeah, i probably say, yeah, Six and Eighty. That's very good. That's Six a very good one. for your three. You got the ADHD. Hold up. And then, Bang. boom. If you don't see me. <laughs> this is the album that I haven't uh, listened to. Come on, 50 got 15 songs. I love it. I actually haven't sat down and listened to uh, Session 80 fully. Mm -hmm. I've heard songs, definitely, of like the hits or something like that. And I heard Rick, Rick and Mortis. I was in high school, but then I had restarted listening to it after it had came into my archives. I'm like, God, I'm like, every time I'm gonna turn on, you got damn. I'm like, God, damn. But to pick the bird fire, I'm gonna stop uh, moving past it. To pick the bird fire is gonna be number three for me. When the four corners of this cocoon collide, you slip through the cracks hoping that you will survive. Because it does have, for, for To Pimp the Butterfly, it does have a lot of songs that's like for the album. And it yeah. fits perfectly when you listen to um, the listen whole to one, album. It doesn't hold that. When you listen yeah. to one, y'all, they're going to play the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> you got to. The, uh, you're just going to rap a rap on like jazz beats. Like, that's different. Yeah, that makes like, me feel that <laughs> ain't free. <laughs> I mean, baby. You can name a baby Mercedes, uh, Mercedes, but I have a Mercedes Benz. He said, hell, hell fucking no. no. <laughs> uh, to pimp the butterfly. I always say that mug too fast. To pimp a like, butterfly. To pimp the butterfly. To pimp <laughs> a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to put Good Kid Man City on there. You know, very good. Very good album. I, I like the, um, I prefer song on that album. It might be Good Kid. I did. Yeah, yeah, what I'm supposed to do with the top is red or blue when you understand what I ain't. But no, I'm a custom too. And then step on your neck and get blood on my neck, you text on mine, cause one day you respect the good kid man seen me. I like that song, so nation, baby. <laughs> Alright there and look at my vibe. Backseat freestyle, of course, like yeah, that. Yeah. All my life I want money. <laughs> Compton song too. Compton. Well actually, the one bonus song they had for now and never, that wasn't a bonus, but that now and never is good. Now or never, I'm so high, I can touch the sky. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But him and Mary J. Blige, I like that one. That's a good one. So, my list is the damn album, the. Um, sorry, my bad. <laughs> good Key Man City. Good Key Man City. Um, and then to Pip the Butterfly. I'm not gonna put Section 80 there yet, just yet, because <laughs> it's between. Hold on, I gotta see what's on the Black Apple, 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 Apple album. Oh, wait, hold on. He has some song, All the Stars. Black Panther. King's <laughs> dead. Maybe with that bush. <laughs> yeah. It, it's like a newer style of, well, not newer style, but a different style of uh, Kendrick that's like mainstream kind of because it's like for um, a lot of these songs are. Yeah, Black Panther song. Damn. King of my city, king of my country, no, king I mean, of my now. homeland. Yeah. Of King's dead and X. I used to love it. Oh, I don't used to love it. They pray for me too. Yeah. You know, we can. <laughs> of course, my, my song right now. I, Big shot. Hold on. <laughs> I listen to um all the stars so damn much. Is it, wait a minute, I ain't seen all the stars on here. Yeah, there we go. It's number two. But I've listened to all the stars so much. It's I, I it was my favorite uh, song. I would still consider it in the top ten. But I don't know how I'm listening to those motherfuckers. So I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I've heard it so much. That's probably why it's like going down because I've heard it so much on my phone. You play it a lot. Yeah. It's a ring. It's a ringtone. It's a ringtone. Oh my god, dang it! <laughs> it's gonna be number four for me. Okay. My first one was 
the Pimpin' the Fly, of yeah. course. Then Damn. That's what I said. Super then <laughs> Section um, 80. Then I said Big Smash City. Mm. The next one's going to be, of course, Miss Morale. And this is The Big Step. Boom, 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 boom. I'm a killer. She's a killer. He's a killer. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, my favorite song is definitely Father Time. Father Time, good song. You know, Purple Hearts is a good song as well. Crown? That's, no, that's no. the only song I do not like. I like, I like the message of the song, but. <laughs> he ain't ever said it. I can't please everybody. Can't please everybody. I can't please everybody. Can't please everybody. Yeah, actually, gonna get you. It reminded me of um, <laughs> like a how like the. I just I just like the, the way the song was, but the message is good. But I just like the way the song was. That's like, the song I'll probably say I do not like the Kendrick. That's like the old school groups of like um, do that 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 that. Yeah, yeah, that's like that um, run around suit. Yeah, I should have had it from the very start of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's Keep what away from my run around suit. Now, but that right there is um good album. Mr. Morale, the Big Step, the Mr. Morale song too. It was one of the worst songs I've seen in my life. I couldn't sleep last night because I felt that. Yeah. <laughs> and then of course, but I sober, beautiful Ooh, song. Yeah. It's the, the, the verse song, of the Grams. It's the verse of it. Yes. <laughs> the only song I don't like on that um album, I like Crown is fine with me. I don't, I don't like dislike it or like yeah, it like a lot. Yeah, but everybody. we cry together is a song that you play only for that album. I'm sick of time of these emotional as I'm grateful as the conversation on last. I actually have only listened to that song once. Y'all you want a pity party? Cause like the song <laughs> it's a fine song. I mean the song's crazy. For, it's for the first time. It's like this for reaction. Yeah. yeah. To, like, like, yeah I'm like, F you. You not no, no you. Me. <laughs> right, alone now. I want to hear all this shit. <laughs> on side note, just just, just a true. side note on, on something I, I just figured out. Um, Chance the Rapper, the um problem song, has a uh, Lil Wayne at the hook. I did not know that was Lil Wayne. The one more label try to stop. That's Lil Wayne. I did not know. Oh. That was. So yeah, I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna have Mr. Morale at number five also for me. Um, which uh again my list. Is the damn Good Kid Man City, uh, To Pimp the Butterfly, Black Panther, and Mr. Morale, the big stepper. It's very underrated. You had to look back at it and um, re uh, appreciate it for mm -hmm. what it is. Just because they was like, oh, it's too personal. <laughs> he, he getting too personal. I'm like, come on now. It's still a good album. Very, very good, very good album. It's still a good, good album. For six. That for you, that leads to Black Panther. Yeah. Yeah. Black Panther is a cool album, but it's just a movie album, so like, put it six. It's not really like his own thing to make for the mm. terms. He has some good songs in there, of course. King's Dead, Big Shot, All the Stars, Pray for Me. There's some good songs in there, like that, so yeah. And then uh, for me, Section 8 will be a, a blast. Just because I haven't heard all the songs, I had realized that I was gonna put it higher, but then I realized I haven't heard a lot of songs on the album. She take it straight so, to the head, then she look at me, she got ADHD. <laughs> Hey, do be sent the fakes. I heard so much on GTA 5. God, three. What, what you said, look, <laughs> instead of saying that, but five. five. Yeah, five, nah. <laughs> but yeah, honorable, honorable missions. I mean, these would be last anyway for me. For the EPs of the overly de dedicated um, and the untitled um, Master. Good. They're still good albums. But Absolutely. this is our list again for your list. I mean, on my list, to Pillar and Fly is first. We got Damn second. Yeah. Third, we have Section 80. And fourth, we had Good Kid Man City. And then fifth, we had Miss Morales and The Big Steppers. And then sixth, we have Black Panther. Yeah. For me, is the damn album Good Kid Man City, To Pimp the Butterfly, um, Black Panther. Yeah, Black Panther. Um, I forgot for a second. Miss Morales, Big Steppers, and then um, Section 80. Let us know do you agree with our list? Do you not? What is your. Ranking of Kendrick Lamar's album. Yes. In the comments down below. Well, we like subscribe for more content. You know, also to follow us on our separate channels, Arsenal DB channel. Uh, I have the Still Syndicate channel and Marcus D Butler channel as well. Follow us on social media if you would like to. If you don't, don't follow like that. And also leave a reaction. Whether it's positive or negative, just leave something and comment down below. But we'll see you guys next time on the channel. New Genesis is out. I'm still here. I'm gonna go. <clears throat> Peace and happiness.